Okay, welcome back to Liberty Church Manzini's podcast. I'm so delighted that you have joined us. And if you are here for the first time, I hope you stick around. We are on day five of our prayer and fasting journey. And today we are praying that God helps us find freedom. I think that's one that everyone can relate with because there is nobody who enjoys being bound. There is nobody that I know of who willingly went to jail. Everybody who goes there goes kicking and screaming. So let's look at the word of God to see how we can find freedom. Let's read first from 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. The Bible says, The Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Keep that second sentence in mind. Where the spirit of the Lord is, is there is liberty now let's read isaiah 61 verse 1 the bible says the spirit of the sovereign lord is upon me for the lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor he has sent me to comfort the brokenhearted and to proclaim that captives will be released and prisoners will be freed So, two questions that I would like to answer from the Word of God. Why do we need freedom? And the second question is, how do we get it? Let's begin with this first question. Why do we need freedom? The answer to this question is simple. We need freedom because sin, which entered the world through Adam, is on a mission to enslave us. You see, the state of our world right now is not how God originally created it. There is an event that happened between creation and where we are now that allowed sin to enter. This was when Adam and Eve rebelled. In their rebellion, they opened a door for sin. And sin came in with one mission, to enslave you and I. There is nothing good that comes out of sin. Sin wants us to be slaves and eventually it wants to lead people to death. We see this in John chapter 8, where some people had begun believing in Jesus Christ. These people had the privilege of believing in Jesus before he had gone to the cross. What a privilege. And so as he is talking to them, he's talking to his believers, Jesus says, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And they immediately respond to him. They're like, what? This is how they actually said it. They said, we have never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean? you will be set free. And maybe that was possibly your response as well as I was talking about us finding freedom where you're like, no, no, I don't need to find freedom. I am free. I call the shots in my life. Listen to Jesus' response to them and I believe Jesus' response to us as well. He says, I tell you the truth. Everyone who sins is a slave of sin. Everyone who sins. And from the word of God, we know that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So while we do not have physical chains keeping us bound, while we are not convicted criminals, while we don't leave our lives behind physical bars, because of the presence of sin in the world, there are many spiritual chains from which we need to find freedom. There are many spiritual chains from which we need to find freedom. Some of the things that we need to find freedom from are bad things, things that the Bible calls sin. But some of them are not necessarily bad things. They are good things that need to be moderated or maybe need to be managed. And the Bible calls those things weights. So a sin could maybe be sex outside of marriage, And a way it could maybe be like, let me give an example of social media. If I'm calling the shows about how much time I spend on social media, if I'm making a conscious decision about how I'm going to use my social media, social media is a good thing. But if social media is now calling the shots in my life, if I'm neglecting my husband or my wife so that I spend time on social media, if I'm using money that I don't have and maybe behaving in a way that is not consistent with Christian values just so that I can be popular on social media, that social media has become a weight. And then now that weight can eventually cause me to sin. 
so i do need to be freed from the weights it could be literal sin or it could be weights that we need to overcome all of these are things that enslave us and we need to find freedom from so this leads me to the second question how do we find freedom if i am claiming that all of us because all of us have sinned all of us are in this journey of finding freedom the question is how do we find that freedom and thankfully for here we need to just go back to our scripture from the beginning to find the answer right there in the scripture you remember the bible says where the spirit of the lord is there is freedom some scriptures some uh, translations actually say there is liberty so if you want to find freedom you need to know and understand what the bible says freedom exists wherever the spirit of god is present it does not exist in his absence in the absence of the spirit there is no freedom we find freedom by being in those places where the spirit of god is present I remember listening to a teaching and a preacher helped me understand this verse a bit more deeply. This was his explanation. He said the Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is and we know that this the Lord is omnipresent. But then we need to realize that this verse is talking about a different kind of presence. A better way of expressing this verse would maybe be to say where the spirit is honored as Lord there is freedom because you see where the spirit is honored as lord he begins to manifest and it's in his manifestation that we experience freedom it's in his manifestation that we begin to see these weights and these sins fall off and we find freedom from them so where are these places where the spirit is honored as lord the first one is in his word So this means we find freedom by reading and meditating on God's word the Bible because the Bible is inspired by the spirit the spirit is honored as lord there as you are reading the Bible you are reading something where the spirit is honored as lord and he will manifest his presence by helping you find freedom the second is in God's ways so this means we find freedom by obeying what God commands us to do by living a holy life you remember that the bible says as many as are led by the spirit they are the sons of god as many as are led by the spirit when the spirit is saying you must forgive your father you must reconcile with your spouse as the spirit is saying those things he is leading us into freedom so we find freedom by obeying what god commands and living a holy life And finally the spirit of God is honored in God's house. So this means we find freedom by gathering together with other believers in church. You see the spirit is honored as we are singing, singing hallelujah, singing praise the Lord. You know as we are dancing, as we are lifting up holy hands, the spirit of God is watching that and he is being honored as we are giving him that sacrifice of praise saying things are not really good at home, but I trust you Lord. he is being honored in that and he begins to manifest and something special happens when we do that and we can worship him knowing that we will find freedom so be a person who is found in these three spaces because it is in these spaces that we experience freedom So let us pray that the Lord would fill us with his spirit as we are in his word as we are in his ways as we are in his house let's pray that he would fill us with his spirit and let's pray that by the power of the spirit we would find freedom let us pray Father I thank you for your spirit who has been sent for our freedom for the spirit who gives us the power to overcome what the world cannot overcome he who is in us the spirit of god is greater than who is in the world thank you jesus help us to find freedom in 2024 in jesus name i pray amen may the lord bless you as you fast and pray today